there is some standard general solution let me just write it down standard general solution okay students you all make a note of this the first one is if sin theta is 0 you write theta is nothing but n pi where n belongs to z everywhere your n belongs to integer if cos theta is 0 you are going to get 2n plus 1 pi by 2 again n belongs to z the third one is if tan theta is 0 we write theta as n pi again where n belongs to z is it clear to all of you okay these are all the standard general solution now if cos theta if cos theta equals to cos alpha then your theta is nothing but 2n pi plus minus alpha okay these are pretty easy proof you can see anywhere i am showing you one but uh, you know the other formula that i will write after this you can see any general textbook uh, where you can see the proof part because i am not uh, concerned about the proof one here so okay let me just prove this one cos theta is cos alpha means cos theta minus cos alpha is zero implies two sine c plus d by two sine d minus c by two which is equals to zero that implies two sine theta plus alpha by two sine theta minus alpha by two which is equals to zero so either this is zero or that is zero so when sine theta plus alpha by two is zero implies theta plus alpha by two equals to n pi so that implies what theta is nothing but two n pi minus alpha and from the second one we are getting sine theta minus alpha by two implies theta minus alpha by 2 equals to n pi implies theta is nothing but 2 n pi plus alpha is it clear therefore combining these two equations we can write this one theta is nothing but 2 n pi plus minus alpha have you understood this so these are all the standard general solution so let me write the other two also let me just rub this one can i rub it the fifth one if sine theta equals to sine alpha then theta equals to n pi plus minus 1 whole to the power n into alpha again in all those cases n belongs to integer z sixth if tan theta equals to tan alpha then theta equals to n pi plus alpha where n belongs to z is it clear now this is one set of standard general solution the other set is if sine square theta equals to sine square alpha or cos square theta equals to cos square alpha or tan square theta equals to tan square alpha in all those cases in all those cases your theta equals to n pi plus minus alpha again i'm telling you if you want to see the proof you can see any textbook you can get it there so the first case is that you have to remember all those standard general solution is it clear now one thing you must remember that there are certain things which we try to avoid the first one is that the most important is that you try to avoid squaring both sides of the equation given to us okay it is always advisable not to square if you know if we cannot do the sum until unless it's square we will do that but remember it while squaring and getting the answer after getting the answer you must put those values that we got finally in the given equation to check whether it satisfies or not if it doesn't satisfy we will reject those values because there is a high chance of getting value of theta which will not satisfy this equation when we square both sides 
is it clear so it is always advisable not to square if we cannot do the sum if we don't square we will square it but we will check the answer finally what we got by putting those values in the given equation is it clear to all of you okay now you can observe one thing you see we have shown you why i told you in the beginning i told you that there will be some problems you know you will solve it but you will see that you are not getting the answer it is not matching with the answer that is given in your textbook you know why it is so because you see if sine theta is half according to the formula what we can write this thing as pi by 6 so in that case we will write theta is nothing but n pi plus minus 1 whole to the power n into pi by 6 is it clear now this is the formula that this is the general solution that we got by using the formula the standard general solution now we have shown you that when sine theta is half your theta can be written as what tell me it was 2 n pi can you remember 2 n pi plus pi by 6 or it can be 2 n pi plus 5 pi by 6 hello is it clear so we got this thing from the graph and we got the value of theta from the standard general solution like this now if i give you you know this if you write this answer it may so happen that in the book they have given you this answer but both of them are correct okay so whether you write it write this equation or the general uh, solution like this both are correct now how to know that these two equations are correct for that all we do is we just put you just put n equals to zero over here if i put n equals to zero from the first one we are getting theta as what tell me it is nothing but your pi by six is it clear now in this case if i put n equals to zero what we are going to get theta equals to pi by six same thing we are getting from here now if i put n equals to one look at carefully if i put n equals to one so what we are getting pi minus pi by six that is nothing but five pi by six from the first equation okay and from the second equation you observe if i put n equals to zero over here we are getting five pi by six so we are getting all those values same we will get the same values okay so this is a form of writing this is also another form of writing so you know in the multiple choice questions they can give you a same question you know but in the answer they will give you this as well as this so it is always better to know which answer is correct it is always better to put the values of n and check what are the values of theta we are getting and if it is same for this one as well as this one then guaranteed your answer whether you are writing in this way or this way both are correct so now your tension is gone because sometimes i have seen many students you know they are confused he said the answer is not matching with the book okay so now that confusion is i think i have made that clear through this video is it clear now before going for the problem let me just tell you one more thing that is if you find that there is only one value in that principal value range then i will suggest you not to use the formula for getting the answer because in that case you will not get your desired answer but in both the cases you are correct but you will not get the desired answer so whenever you get only one value in the principal range then all you do is you add the period let us say for an example if i say cos theta is one I, i'm sorry sine theta is one so in that case you observe between the principal range we are getting only one value right that is nothing but your pi by two is it clear so in that case you will write the general solution as 2n pi plus pi by 2 is it clear so just remember in this way to get the desired answer you can apply i'm not saying that you cannot apply the formula you can apply the formula you will get the answer but sometimes it may so happen that you are not getting that desired answer is it clear so all you do is you just remember that whenever we get one value within that principal range we will not use the formula that is the general standard solution we will not use what we will do is we will just write that principal value and then we will add the period along with n where n belongs to any integer is it clear now we can move for problems based on trigonometric equations